My name is Timothy Flores. I'm in eighth grade, and I go to Zamora Middle School. Um, this is Juan Sedin. Um, he's actually uh, my great, 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 great grandfather. Um, he was a Texas hero. He fought in the Texas Revolutionary War. Um, he fought in all major battles, and he was even at the Alamo until he was sent to um, gather reinforcements. But by the time he returned, um, everybody had been um, killed in the battle. Um, he led a Texas cavalry of Tejanos in the Battle of San Jacinto. And um, after the war, he um, became a um, politician. He was mayor of Texas, governor of justice. Um, he was eventually uh, exiled by the Anglos who were coming into Texas because he was a uh, Mexican and they thought he was a traitor for because um, a siege on the San Antonio was attempted by a, a Mexican general. And the general said that he was a traitor to San Antonio and Texas. And so the Anglos uh, exiled him basically to Mexico. Once he was in Mexico because he was outlawed or exiled from Texas, he was captured by Mexican troops and forced to join the army or be, be in prison for a long time. He had chose to join the army and was part of the Mexican army during the Mexican American War. Um, eventually he was allowed to be returned back to te Texas to his home and that's what he did. He brought his whole family there and that's when he became the justice. Um, he died in 1890 on August 27th in Nuevo Laredo. Um, this is a um, statue of him and um, he has many um, sources of him at the Alamo. This is a picture of him when he was younger. He was a colonel and this is uh, older on Sedin. Um, this is one of his quotes, Texas shall be free and independent or we shall perish in glorious combat. And this is just um, some general information about him. This is actually his burial site. He was actually moved here um, like 1970s. He was moved to this burial site in Sitin, the town named after him. And this is his actual gravestone.